So today, Christy and I just want you to join us. It's our first snowfall of the year. Well, some places have more than others, and you'll see that as we go on our snow day in the Smokies. First, we're going to take you just down the road from our neighborhood to the Harrisburg Covered Bridge. Yep, so this is actually one of the first covered bridges in Sevier County. Uh, now, this is actually one of the oldest bridges in Sevier County. It was built in 1875. Uh, they wanted to demolish it later on, and then the Daughters of the American Revolution stepped in to save it. And, of course, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1975. Fun fact about the Daughters of the American Revolution, the Spencer Clack, branch for me is I am actually in the process of joining the DAR so that's kind of exciting but here is the beautiful bridge you just sit and enjoy the visuals that we were able to capture from the Harrisburg covered bridge Next up, as we make our way through Sevier County, we decided to stop off at the old mill in Pigeon Forge just to see what it looked like today. Although there is some snow on the ground and there is snow falling, there is not quite as much as there was back by our house. So again, just enjoy the view. We made our way outside of Gatlinburg, just outside of downtown, and we're going into the Pittman Center area. This is Highway 321, or East Parkway in Gatlinburg. We're going to go into the area of Pittman Center, which is also considered Gatlinburg, and this is an area called Emmert's Cove, and what's awesome about this area is Brooks's family on his dad's side helped to settle this area and he actually grew up um, in a little house just down the road here and we're going to go see the beautiful Emirates Cove covered bridge. Yep so the Emirates Cove covered bridge was constructed in the year 2000 and it is named after Frederick Emmert who is actually my sixth great-grandfather on my dad's side so we say that roots run deep here for me and well it's absolutely the truth. <laughs> take a little drive through the bridge and there is definitely a lot more snow coming down here. Look at those big flakes. As we're walking inside the bridge here, look down and see the middle prong of the Little Pigeon River. I can tell you that growing up, just right down at the top of the screen there, when you see that little spot, there's an area over there called the Flint. That was absolutely one of our favorite swimming holes when we were kids. And as a local photographer in the area, I have done many, many family portrait sessions right here on the river and with this bridge. And here we have one of the many beautiful old barns that dot the landscape of East Tennessee. Uh, these are super nice folks and it's just picturesque. Have you ever been driving into downtown Gatlinburg and you see the city garage right here in front of us by traffic light number three? Where the arrow's pointing there, have you ever noticed that little cabin that sits all by itself? 
This is the Martha Jane Husky Oval Cabin, which was built in 1807 and was the first home built in Gatlinburg, what was then known as White Oak Flats. Fun fact here, Martha is my sixth great grandmother on my mom's side. So again, a little bit more history. The cabin was moved to its location today in front of the city garage as it formerly sat where the old Aramont and Pi Beta Phi school was. Today, that area is where you'll find Anakista. And the cabin is protected as it was placed on the National Regi Register of Historic Places in 1986. And on the inside, they still have some of the artifacts that she might have used all those years ago. Speaking of where the cabin used to be, there's Anakista right there on your left. As we start down the parkway in Gatlinburg, and I'll tell you what, January in the winter, this time of year, there is just no crowd, no traffic to be had. You know, it's interesting to see how Gatlinburg has changed over the years. Uh, did you come here many years ago? We would love to know um, how you think it's changed if you've been here recently. But um, the snow here in town actually was not nearly as heavy as the snow that we had up in Pittman Center or the east end of Gatlinburg. And we've got the Space Needle coming up there on the left. And we just thought we would take you on a little drive down the parkway because everybody loves to see a little bit of Gatlinburg on a snowy day. Mm -hmm. Just as we pass traffic light number eight here, we come up to Ober Mountain. You see that on the right hand side. Boy, I tell you what, whether the weather's bad or not, I bet they've got plenty of snow up there on the slopes. <laughs> That is for sure. And as we come to the end of the parkway here, we've got the wonderful park grill there on the left. And now we're going to take you up to see if we can see anything. And we cannot. This is up at the Park Vista, Vista. Hotel. Mm -hmm. And usually it's a beautiful view up here, but today it's just socked in. Yeah. But the snow is coming. Snow was falling down. It was still pretty up there. And we always like to stop off at Minot Park down in Gatlinburg off of Airport Road. This is just a pretty little area within the park. It's actually considered the kids fishing stream. Yep, 12 and under right here. And it's just pretty. We it is. It's beautiful. It. And I've taken lots of pictures here as well. I've taken you on a donut date from the donut fryer there. Yeah, people need to go back and see the donut date if you have not. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Now we're going down River Road, and there is Ober Mountain. It's all been repainted and redone. I see the tram there on the right-hand side, and you've got Bennett's Barbecue over here on your left. It is almost a ghost town here in Gatlinburg today. Mm-hmm. But there is one lonely couple going up on the ski lift <laughs> i did notice that going up to skybridge just thank you so much for joining us today we hope you enjoyed a little bit of snow in the smokies for 2024 as you enjoy some of the wife's beautiful still shots here as we close this out we just want to thank you all for riding along with us today on this first snow day in the Smokies of 2024. If you like this video, we hope you will just smash that like button, share the video out. We'd love to have your comments. We want to know a little bit more about what you think about the Smokies, especially in the winter. And of course, we want you to subscribe to Smoky Mountain Faith, Food, and Fun. It doesn't cost you a thing to do that, so if you would, do us a favor, hit that and hit the notification bell so that you know every time we've got new content posted. God bless you. And have a great day.